this video we will discuss the problem number of occurrences previously this problem has been asked in companies like amazon so let's read the problem statement problem says that will be given a sorted array and will be given a number that is a target number and you need to find the number of occurrences of the target in the array so let's take the first test case here if you will see the first test case so we have been given the array as 1 1 2 2 2 2 and 3 so we have been given this array now the target element is basically 2 so we have to find out how many times 2 is occurring so 2 is basically occurring 4 times in this sorted array so the answer would be 4 now if you see the next test case in the next test case the target element is 4 and 4 is not occurring in this array at all so the answer is basically 0 if you see the last test case here so the target is 12 and 12 is occurring 3 times so the answer for this is basically 12, uh, 3 here now how can we solve this question so let's discuss the approaches for solving this problem so the first brute force approach would be that we can basically iterate throughout the array using linear search and we can check each and every element of the array if it is equal to the target then we can increase the counter variable and this would take order of n time because we'll be traversing throughout the array and the space complexity would be order of one because what we will do is we'll make a resultant variable here and then after that we'll start iterating throughout the array if the ith element is equal to the target then we'll increase the counter and then at the end we'll return this resultant variable which is indicating the counter basically let's take one sample example suppose if we had the array that was 1, then we had 2, then we had 2, then we had 2, and then we had something like, let's say, 4 here. Suppose my target element was equal to 2 here. Now, what will happen in this linear search approach is, initially, my result variable will be 0. I'll iterate and check every element. So, firstly, this element is not 2. Next element is 2, so increase the result. It will become 1. Another element is equal to target. Next element is also 2, so increase the result. Now, you go to the next element. It is also 2, so increase the result. It will become 3. So, this means target element has appeared 3 times so far. Then you go to the next element. It is not equal to the target, so the re result still remains 3. Then we reach the end of the array. Finally, the result is 3, which is a linear search approach. But this approach is taking order of n time because you can observe that we are uh, iterating throughout the array. So this will take order of n time here and the space complexity for this approach is order of one can we optimize this a bit more yes since the array has been given as sorted so we can use the property of sorted array so we can apply by search here now in terms of the application of by search uh, it is not like we have to directly apply the basic by search algorithm we'll be applying the modifications or the applications of by search that is the lower bound and the upper bound concept for solving this problem we'll understand this through the dry run of the sample test case as well so if you see here since the array is already sorted so we can use binary search to find the occurrence of the given target now there are two concepts that we are using first is the uh, first is the lower bound and second is the upper bound concept now lower bound concept does what if the element is present in the array then lower bound concept will give me or will find or will search the first occurrence of the element of the target element in sorted array and upper bound will do what upper bound will find the first element or the index of the first element that is greater than the given target element okay and the differences between the two index will be the total number of occurrences how so basically if you will see this particular given array so what will happen is if you do indexing here 0 1 then 2 then 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so since we know that lower bound will always indicate the very first occurrence index of the very first occurrence of the target so lower bound will be equal to what here lower bound will be equal to one here and the upper bound indicates what upper bound indicates the index or it upper bound uh, upper bound will stand at the index of the very first element that is greater than the target so upper bound will be standing where upper bound will be standing at this particular index which is nothing but five because the very first element that is greater than two is basically three so the upper bound will basically stand at the element that is nothing but three here so the upper bound will be at uh, at the index five it will be at this element three now what will happen is what is the difference between the two indexes if you do upper uh, bound index minus the lower bound index what will you get so you will basically get nothing but four because uh, five minus one is four and the number of times the element two is occurring in the sorted array is basically four here so this is how the lower bound and upper bound concept will help me to reach the uh, final answer but we need to discuss the basic intuition of lower bound and upper bound first and then we'll see the dry run that let that how we can modify the basic binary searches to implement lower and upper bound if you will see here firstly lower bound is what lower bound will give us the index of the first occurrence of the target element if the target element is present then it will give us the first uh, like it will give us the index of the first occurrence of the target element if suppose sometimes the target element might not be present in the array 
when it gives what then it gives the very first position where we need to insert the element to maintain the sorted order so this is one unique thing about lower bound that if the element is not present then it will give the very first index uh, or the index where we need where we should insert the target element so that we can maintain the sorted order now upper bound does what upper bound will basically give us the index of the first element that is greater than the given target element now let's see uh, this using the sample test case here suppose that this is the temp uh, this is the sample test case that we have now uh, let's do some indexing here as well so index 0 index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 index 5 6 7 8 and 9 now if you see here initially what we will do is we'll update the lower bound value equal to n why uh, so the number of elements are basically 9 so we'll initially update the lower bound uh, to 10 why we are doing this because in case if the element is not present then we are planning to update the lower bound and upper bound as uh, 10 initially so we are initializing the values with size of the array initially okay so that if the elements are not present then uh, the lower bound is basically equal to n initially now what will happen here is firstly we will uh, update the low index so low will be initially at 0 and high will be standing where high will be standing at 9 now we calculate the mid now what is the midpoint if you calculate the midpoint right now it will come out as basically 4 so which element is there at the index 4 notice that so the element at the index 4 is basically uh, the target element which is nothing but 2 here so we have found out the uh, target element at this index now since we have found out the target element at this index so we'll update the lower bound to this index that is the mid index which will be basically 4 so the lower bound will be updated to 4 but uh, should we be satisfied no we do not want to find the index at which the target is occurring we want to find the very first index at which the target is occurring that is what is the definition of lower bound tells us about so we want to find the very first index at which the target element is appearing so that is why we will say that okay if the target element is present at this index as of now we have stored this as the lower bound as of now we have stored this as the answer but we need to search for better we need to search for lower index because we want to find the lowest index or the smallest index at which this target element is appearing so we need to search on the left side so we will do what we'll update the high to low min uh, like mid minus one so the high will get updated to what now it will get updated to uh, three here because we need to search since we have found out the element here we'll try to search on the left side of this element such that we can find the very first occurrence of two if it is appearing there also now what will happen here is in this particular case after this the midpoint will come out as what after this if you will calculate the midpoint the midpoint will basically come out as nothing but uh, one here because if you see zero plus three divided by two will come out as one now the element that you are at is basically this index okay so the element that you are at is, is still two the element is two but the index is one here okay now does it equal to the target yes it does equal to the target so i'll update the lower uh, bound to this particular index that is one here now my lower bound is standing at one so uh, after this i as i said since i have found out the target element here i'll try to search on the left side so what will happen is my low uh, like my high will be equal to mid minus one because if i have found out the target element here i'll search i'll try to search on the left side of this mid because i want to still find the very first occurrence of the target element so now my high will be equal to what it will be equal to mid minus one so it will be basically equal to what zero here because mid is one mid minus one would be zero now if i'll calculate the mid so mid will come out as zero because zero plus zero divided by two is zero itself so we'll have zero now if i check the mid element at the mid index so it is basically one now it's not equal to the no, it is not equal to the target since it is not equal to the target so we'll try to search on the right side okay because if the mid if element at the mid index is not equal to the target it is lesser than the target so this means that we need to search on the right side of mid so we'll update the low to what mid plus one when you update the low to mid plus one what happens the low gets updated to basically index one here and then you can see that the low and the high they have crossed each other so since they have crossed each other so we need to stop at this point and the lower bound has been found out as one because the lowest index at which the uh, element uh, target element is occurring is basically two here now you need to make sure of one more thing because you can observe that what is the definition of lower bound the lower bound definition says that uh, it will find the very first index at which the element is present or it will tell, uh, tell us about the index where the target element needs to be inserted because sometimes the target might not be present so that is why what we will do is uh, while writing the code we'll write this condition that if the element at the mid index if it is what if it is greater than equal to the target then we'll store uh, then we'll store this particular uh, index here so we'll update the uh, lower bound to what we'll update the lower bound to this mid because uh, if uh, if the element is uh, even greater 
then also we'll store it because sometimes if, if the element is not present then we want to find the very first element that is greater because we want to uh, find the uh, index at which we can insert the element so that is why we are checking for the greater condition as well okay now after this lower bound will be updated as mid and then high will be updated as what mid minus one uh, otherwise if the element is not present at the mid index and we need to search on the right side so else we'll do what we'll update the low to what we'll update the low to basically mid plus one if the element is not present at the mid uh, mid index uh, and the element at the mid index is basically lesser than the target then we need to search on the right side of mid so low will be equal to mid plus one here yeah. and i've told you why we are using the greater than condition because uh, lower bound uh, not only it will find the uh, very first occurrence but if the element is not present then we need to find the very first index at which we can insert this particular element now let's talk about the upper bound concept also now upper bound concept will be very simple because we need to find what we need to find the index of the very first element that is greater than the target element okay so let's uh, see the dry run for the upper bound as well what will happen is initially low will be zero high will be equal to nine when we'll calculate the mid mid will come out as basically four now uh, let's update the upper bound variable here so let's say we have the upper bound variable present here and initially we'll update it to the size of the array here so this will be basically 10 here now what will happen is the mid is basically 4 so we are at this particular index now upper bound is what upper bound is the index of the very first element that is greater than the target so is this particular element greater than the target no it is not so we need to search on the right side so we'll update the low to mid plus 1 so mid uh, low will be equal to 5 now after this when we'll find out the midpoint what will we get uh, the midpoint will be uh, 5 plus 9 divided by 2 it will come out as 7 so now my mid is standing here now is this particular element greater than my uh, target element yes it is so i'll update the index here so the index is basically seven element also is seven here accidentally so i'll update this particular uh, index here because this element is greater than the target but i want to find the very first element that is greater than the target so i need to search on the left side if i find an element which is greater than the target element at the mid index then i'll do what i'll try to uh, i'll try to store that index and i'll try to search on the left side because i want to find the very first element that is greater than the target so that is why we'll search on the left side so we'll update the highest mid minus one so what will happen now is high will be equal to six here okay at this point what will be my mid now my mid will be equal to basically uh, five here now we check at the index five is the element greater than the target yes it is so we'll update the upper bound to this value five here because the index five is having element three which is greater than the target and i've told you that we'll try to find the very first occurrence of the element which is greater than the target so that's why we'll try to search if we have found out the element greater than the target at this mid index we'll try to search on the left side because we want to find the very first occurrence of the index that is greater than the very first occurrence of the element that is greater than the target so we'll try to search on the left side now what will happen is my high will be equal to mid minus one so high will be updated to four at this point you see that low and high have crossed so we stop here and the upper bound stored is five so now if you'll observe so for this particular question my lower bound was updated as what my lower bound was updated as two, one as index one and my upper bound was updated as what as index five uh, so you can see that the very first index at which my uh, target element was appearing is one and the uh, index that is uh, the very first index that is greater than the target element is basically the index 5. So I have to do what I have to subtract the upper uh, bound index minus the lower bound index that is the index of the element just greater than the target minus the index of the very first appearance of the target element. So when I will do this what will I get 5 minus 1 this gives me 4. So it tells us that the target element here is present 4 times correct so you can see here that the target element is basically present four times here that's how we get this okay i hope you have understood the prior run properly let's have a look at the code for the upper and the lower bound as well okay so if you will see here initially we have updated the result variable to the length of the array here that is initially we have updated the result to n here in low, lower bound function then we have the low and the high initially low is at zero high is standing at the last index of the array that is n minus one we'll iterate until the low is less than equal to the high and what we will do is we'll say that we'll calculate the midpoint and if the element at the mid index is greater or equal to the target uh, why we are checking uh, uh, for greater also because sometimes if the target element is not present then we want to find the very first index at which we can insert the 
element so we'll update the result to this mid and then after that uh, we will do what we'll try to search on the left side because we'll try to find the very first occurrence if at this mid index i'm able to find the element target element still i'll try to find, uh, find the very first occurrence of the index at which the target is appearing so that is why we'll try to search on the left side of this mid otherwise if at this mid index the element is not present so this means that uh, the element at this mid index is lesser so we need to search on the right side so we'll do what we'll do low is equal to mid plus one and at the end we'll return the lower bound index here that is the index of the first occurrence of the target element okay after this talking about the upper bound function we'll update the result is equal to the length of the array and we'll have what we'll have the low equal to zero high equal to the n minus one index that is the last index of the array then after this uh, upper bound is very simple low is less than equal to high and we want to find the index of the very first uh, element that is greater than the target so if the element at this mid index if it is greater than the target then we'll update the result to this mid okay because if i find that at this particular index this mid index i have the element greater than the target i want to find i want to store this but i want to find i want to still find the very first index that is uh, greater than that uh, that is having element greater than the target so i'll search on the left side of mid so my high will be equal to mid minus one otherwise if at this mid if at this mid index the element is lesser so i'll search on the right side so i'll update the low to what uh, mid plus one here and at the end what we are going to do is we are going to return the result uh, here that is the upper bound and after this once we get the upper bound and the lower bound we can simply do what we can simply subtract uh, upper bound value minus the lower bound value for this particular array here now let's try and code this up as well so i've written the code here you can see that the only change that i have done is that uh, after applying the upper bound and lower bound function i'm subtracting the values here so let's submit this quickly and see if it is getting accepted or not it should get accepted hopefully so you can clearly see that the code is getting accepted i hope that you have understood this clearly if you did make sure to mention in the comments thank you for watching this video